Okay, mode. Hello. Hey. How are you today? Yeah, good, thank you. And how are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm good. I'm good. And g'day, Chloe Lai. How are you today? Good day, everyone. Good day, Miss Darling. I'm um, good. I'm just uh, planning my studying schedule and uh, find some books to read, like IELTS, this whole series. Yeah. But I don't know why the eBay couldn't let me purchase the items. I don't know why. Oh, you could not buy them? Yeah, because it says um, there's a fine limit for these purchase. I don't know why. And I kept trying. It just didn't work. Did you say file limit or fine? Hey? File or fine? File. The limit. Was it file or fine? No, it's just, I don't know. Buy. Buy. I, I mean buy. Oh, okay. Buying yeah. limits. I don't know why they, because uh, uh, it, happens, it happens to my friends. Okay. And she just kept trying and uh, once she just did it and she didn't know why okay are these, yeah. te are these textbooks did you say they're for ielts yeah it's the series uh one two seventeen yeah yeah because i i need to like practice and just do some more writing and listening Okay, that's really strange. Maybe, maybe they have run out of print. I don't know, because it's currently has stock on the page. Okay. But uh, my friend, I, I also used my boyfriend's account to try to buy it, but yep. it didn't work. So I maybe try tomorrow or my friends can got it from me. Mm. Is, is it selling the whole set as one price? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's really weird. Yeah, I don't know why. Cause, um, I, I spent like a whole afternoon to figure out why and I couldn't buy anything online. Yeah. Okay. Did you try Amazon? Yeah, uh, Amazon got them, but it's uh, expensive per book. I think it's uh, 50 or $60 per book. But I can buy eBay. On, on eBay, I can buy like uh, 4 to 17 just only $150. Okay, so you have to get them off eBay. You can't afford 17 books at that price. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you tried libraries? Uh I didn't go to the library because uh, I don't have car now because my boyfriend uh used the car to the to to the work. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you a member of the library? Or is that his card or your card? Uh his car, but I I can't drive. <laughs> okay, I understand. Yeah. Uh, oh, what a shame. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why that happened. Maybe eBay um, like stated it wrong. Yeah, because I, um, I, I didn't buy anything on eBay before. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I registered it uh, in 2020 and I didn't buy anything. And they say it might be some some buyers can like purchase any uh so many uh so many things on eBay and and get a bait, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that may cause some issues. So they just uh some buying limits for some members. I don't know why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of that. I'd be concerned. Doesn't sound right, does it? But if it happened to your friend as well and your boyfriend account. Yeah. Something strange is going on. Alright. Uh, Dizzy, hi, I've seen you. Amelia, hi, I've seen you. Kung Chloe, hi, I've seen you. <laughs> How are you today, Alvin? I'm good. Uh, How are you, everyone? Everyone is amazing on Tuesday. Amazing on Tuesday. Tuesday is an awesome day. Yeah, I'm sorry, a little bit late. <laughs> it's okay. How are you today, Faru? Hey, Tisha, I'm good, thank you. That's good. Can we get cameras on, ladies? We need our cameras on. Thank you, Faru. <clears throat> Um, Chloe, you never have your cameras on. Okay. You have to tell Miss May. Sorry. <laughs> I say it's the same uh, reason because I still not find the best solution with the um, aptus. Is it? Your data. Teacher, can you hear me? I can hear you, yep. Sorry, I was just getting the page up. <laughs> yeah, I, I know no worries. data issues. It takes a lot of power. Sorry about that. <laughs> Please All just right. tell Miss May that's a pitting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dizzy. That's nice of you. Thank you. All right. Let, today we're doing grammar. And we're doing future perfect. So everyone write this down, future perfect. All right, Dizzy, can you read? Yes, the future perfect is used to talk about two actions that will occur at two different times in the future. In the future perfect sentences, the first action uses the future perfect tenses, uh, tense, and the second action further into the future uses the simple present tense. Okay, so here are our two actions. This line represents now so this is these two events one and two they're in the future they have not happened i so will it, yeah i will i will eat dinner good so at six o'clock this person is saying i will eat dinner and then at 8 p.m they're expecting he will call, he will call. call me Okay, so read this, Dizzy. Okay, I will. Uh, I will have eaten dinner by the time it calls me. By the time it calls me, I will have eaten dinner. Beautiful. So this is our tense. I will have eaten dinner by the time he calls me. I will have eaten dinner. And this is how we write it. Will have and the past participle okay so will will have have and this is the past participle so faru what is the base verb of this word base verb uh, base verb is eat very good eat so when we say eat, 
in the future, we need to say eaten. Um, so, sorry, we're talking about events that are happening in the future, but this is actually the past form. I have eaten. I have eaten dinner. I have just taught a class. But I could say by the time I see my red class, I will have taught the blue class or the orange class, sorry. All right, so everyone copy this down. So everyone needs to write this. Okay, come Chloe. Excuse me, I have ice. How does it work? Can Chloe? Can Chloe? Where is, it? is she pretending to know? Nope, she's gone. How about the other Chloe? Chloe Lai, tell me how it works. Um, this use the will have and past particle and the future uh, the future action will happen before another future action yep okay so that is our function this is how we write it so the same as up here and this is what it's telling us so one future action this one, dinner, will happen at 6 p.m., which is before the phone call. Okay, once again, we've got time markers. So, Alvin, can you read our time markers? Sure. Um, by the time when, before, our... Uh, the, the small one need to read to, to okay not that other time markers such as next tomorrow and from now are uh, often used in the dependent clause. clause do you remember what dependent clause is yes I remember it's uh, just uh, they have the just only the uh, own, own, what is it? How to say? <laughs> so you have independent clause and dependent clause. And dependent. Yep. Okay, independent stands alone. Yes. The sentence does not need anything else. Dependent clause has to have extra words. Yes. So this one is the dependent clause. This one, independent clause. All right, let's do our examples. Uh, Mode, can you read this one? Uh, our manager will have gone home by the time we finish this project. Good, Emilio. Yeah. By the time he moves to France, he will have quiet his job. Just quit. Quit, quit. sorry. Baru, you there? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, when she gets back to me next week, I will have made other plans. Very good. And good day, Constantine. How are you today? Uh, good day. Thank you. I, I'm good. Good. Can you read this, Constantine? Um, 
Sure. Uh, they have handed uh, out five dozen uh, uh, flyers before they call it uh, a night. Very good. And last one, Chloe, uh, Khan Chloe. Yeah, uni will already have accepted another job offer when they get back to her two weeks from now. Beautiful. All right, let's take a photo of this page. You have this in your Moodle, but let's take a photo so you can look at it through the lesson. There we go. Take a photo of that, guys. Okay, so Constantine, we're doing grammar, future perfect. This is now, Constantine, and these we're talking about two events that will happen in the future, one after the other. This one first, this one second. This is how we write it. This is what it's telling us. These are our time markers, and these are our examples. Um, we'll go through this one quick. All right, number one. Emilio, can you read this? Yeah. <laughs> When the dependent time clause begin the sentences, sentence, Good. we usually use a comma. We don't need a comma when the independent clause begin the sentence. There is no change in meaning. But the time the conference ends, I will have spoken to more than 50 people. I will have spoken to more than 50 people by the time the conference end. So this one is an independent clause. So we have a comma. This one is our independent clause, but it's at the end. Okay, number two, please, Chloe Lai. Instead of a dependent clause, we can use an adverb phrase of time. Note that a phrase has no subject or verb. Examples of typical phrases include by July 2030, by night, tomorrow night, two months from now, etc. Very good. They will have completed construction on the new building building three months from now. By 5 p.m. tomorrow, we will have wrapped up the negotiations and fi finalized the deal. Excellent, good, nice reading. <coughs> All right, number three, um, mode. Uh, the future perfect action can be repeated or there could be multiple actions before the final one. Example, I will have gone to the gym hundreds of times before it closes next December. They will have cleaned their flat and prepare all the food by the time their guests arrive at 8 p.m. Very good. This one mode is a contraction and we say I'll. All right, I'll. I'll think of it as it's short for I will. I'll. All right. Okay, and number four, Faru. Um, in the future, perfect is not as common as the simple future. In fact, uh, we can often use the simple future instead of the future perfect, especially in informal situations, mostly when a time marker 
other than by the time is used. There is often a change in meaning. For example, I will have turned off all the lights before I leave the house. I will turn off all the lights before I leave the house. It's more common. Yeah, this is a more common way of saying this. I will turn off all the lights before I leave the house. <coughs> if somebody said this to me, I'd think it's a bit weird. All right, let's take a photo so you can use it during the class. Um, can you get into your red class now, Faru? Uh, sorry, teacher. Do you have red three in your Moodle now? Uh, red three? Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah, cool. Thank you. All right, let's do some exercises. Is that too small, guys? It's all right, teacher. It can adjust it to be big. Oh, okay, no, it's, okay. Okay. It's, it's good. good. It's good. No. Okay. So we take the photo, right? And um, no, let's let's do this together. Okay. So we're going to write the future perfect or the simple present tense of the verbs below. Here are our verbs. You can see them going down. All right, so our example, Alvin. Yes, by the time, mean June, Mid June, get to the cinemas. The film will has started. Very good. This is just cinema, no S. Cinema. Yeah. Okay. So we've got will have started. So it's the same as this one. Will have and the past participle will have eaten, will have started, will have eaten, will have started. So make sure you look back on your phone at your picture if you forget. All right, let's do number one, please. Constantine. Uh, так, uh, by the time uh, Sonia finished the uh, work, um, her boyfriend uh, will have uh, made dinner. Perfect. Good work. Okay, very good. Number two, please, Chloe Lai. Malik will have completed his third work a week on the joy on the job job by this time next Tuesday. Perfect. Yep. Dizzy number three. Yes, so when Daniel will have a uh, rapid hub work, everyone will already have left the office. Um, wrapped. Remember the ED nearly sounds like a sound. Yeah, wrapped. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, number four, please, Mode. I will have goes to bed before my wife gets home tonight. Uh, very close. Try again. I will have, uh, I, I will have went to bed before my wife gets home tonight. No, still oh, no cigar. I will have to go to bed before yep, my wife it. gets home tonight. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
I will have gone. Gone, gone. Yeah. Okay, number five, Emilio. So the football pitch will have become muddy by the time it will have stopped raining. Very good. Remember your eight day sound. We'll have stop it. Stop. Stop. Yeah. So this ED is nearly the same as t. Stopped. Stop. Perfect. Okay. Number six, please. Um, Khan Chloe. By the time Adrian has home, the sun will have set. It. Perfect. Upset. Okay, number seven. Um, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Alvin's next. Marian will have earned has her degree by next May. Perfect. Thank you. And. Uh, Okay, number eight, please, Constantine. Okay, uh, they will have uh, traveled around the world uh, by the time they uh, will have uh, arrived in uh, Thailand. Perfect. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Number nine, Faru. Uh, by the time she finishes studying tonight, her brother will have fallen asleep. We'll close. We'll have something else for Ru. Uh, falling. No. Fault. Fault. No. Fallen to sleep. Found. Fallen. Fallen. Fallen asleep. Thank you, Chloe Lai. And number 10, let's go back to mode. Aisha finish okay. her sales training by November. Will her finished. Finish. Finished. Okay, that's great. So there are the answers for 10 questions. So you guys can take a photo. Number 11, please, Emilio. Mateo and Lola will have to return it. We have returned it from their trip before their son's 18th birthday. Okay, so it's will have returned. Return. Uh, return so this sound is nearly like a t like to return returned yeah that's it that's it good and this here Emilio we say 18. 18. 18. 18. Like that. All right, number 12, please, Chloe Lai. All the schools will have closed by the time it will have snowed later this afternoon. Number 13, please, Dizzy. Sorry, my mom just rang me. 
Number 13, by the time you play, your plane lands, I will have arrived uh, at the airport to pick you up. Good. You will have arrived at the airport to pick you up. Okay, let's go to Chloe. Can Chloe, 14? Um, the lectures will have already started by the time Keiko and Dren will have will have uh, get to class. No, <laughs> sorry, we have gotten. Yeah, good, good, Chloe. We have gotten to class. Good, and you added an S here. This is lecture one lecture. Yeah. Lecture. Okay, 15 for Ru. <coughs> we, we will uh, to do the heavy lifting by the time you get here. No, we need to change do to the past. So we'll have. Does. No. Mm. We will have D. Oh, yeah. Done. Good. Done. Did you hear? Yes. Can I leave the class for five minutes because my mom ringing me for Greece? As she wants to tell me something important. Yeah, all right. See you I don't soon. know what is it. I'm a little bit worried. Thank I'm you for, going to be back for, soon. Thank you for telling me. See okay. you soon. Thank you. Okay, so we will um. have, what was it, Faru? A done. Done. Good. Thank you, Emilio and Faru. All right, so you can take a photo of these answers. Okay, so this time. What are we going to do, Constantine? You can read. <laughs> uh, okay. I imagine you have uh, a friend who's uh, always wait. Use the future. Perfect and uh, the following uh, prompts to give uh, advice or warning to your friend. Very good. Don't forget uh, the S warnings. Uh, warnings. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's our example, Constantine? Uh, example by the time you apple, uh, oh, by the time you apply for the job, uh, someone else get. Uh, but the time you um, apply for the job, someone else will have um, got it. Okay, so we've changed get to got. Good. We're using future perfect again. And Constantine, this word is apply. Apply. Okay. All right. Um, mode, what's number one? By the time you get to the stadium, uh, concert we have started. Yeah, we need to say the concert because it's a noun. Uh, by the time you get to the stadium, the, the concert will have started. Perfect. Good work. All right, Chloe Lai, number two. By the time you get to the party, everyone 
will have eaten all the food. Very good. Thank you. Okay, number three, please, Emilio. By the time you call your, mo your mother back, she will have hungry for weeks. No, she will not have her. been hungry. Yeah, she will have been angry. Angry for weeks. Good. That's why Dizzy had to call her mother back. <laughs> no, I'm here, teacher. I'm here. <laughs> Did you read that one, Dizzy? Yeah, yeah, I hear it. <laughs> That's why you had to ring her back. <laughs> All right, Alvin, number four. By the time you join a gym, out of shape, will have four months. Not quite, Alvin. Oh. So who are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about uh, me, you, yes, Joy, you. a gym. Yep. So by the time you join a gym, yes. you. Now, our. On oh, our, oh, you will have. Perfect. By the time by the time you have you will have uh, join in a gym. No, don't change this. Okay. Uh, by the time you will have join a gym. No. The time you have oh shit. Look at these ones, Alvin. Yes. So these are the same, and then we had to make this. This is the same, then we had yes. to make this. So this is the same, now we have to make this. This time. By the time you will, uh, you will join a gym no just read this read this alvin yes by the time you uh you you join a gym yeah now this you will have out of shape you will have been been out of shape yeah for months okay read it again alvin all right by the time you join a gym you will have been out of shape for months so this here is from here Okay. This is from here. Okay. Okay. Take a photo, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Okay, number five, please. Um, will I pick Constantine again? Um, by the time you go house uh, hunting, um, if you want, have, uh, hunting. Uh, 
everyone uh, will have uh, uh, rented uh, good places. Perfect. Very ah, good. good places. Okay. Good places. All the good houses. All right. Number six um, mode. By the time you hand in your homework, the teacher will have already correct everyone else assignments. Good. Already corrected. Corrected. Yes. Very good mode, thank you. Uh, Miss Sterling, can I ask a question? Please? Of course. Uh, the already, can I just put up uh, behind the correct, corrected? Uh, no, no, no. Is uh, Can I put uh, in front of half? Teacher will have the teacher will already have corrected. You can, but it's it doesn't. Normal. It's no, it's it is, but it's not following our pattern. Okay, got it. So today we just want to learn this over and over and over again, so we understand how to always say future perfect tense. Yep. Sure. Thank you. Okay, number seven, please, Dizzy. Yes, teacher. By the time you go to the doctor, we you will have rushed got worse. So again. By the time you go to the doctor, you you will have rushed get worse. Your rash. Or rush get rush get worse. We need to put this in at dizzy. We'll yeah, have. Yeah, what I'm saying. By the time you go to the doctor, you will or, or, uh, have rushed get worse. Oh, no. no, your rush will. Have uh, your rush, rush will have get worse. And now we need to change this. Into the get past. It towards, get it towards. Gotten. Gotten. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Gotten ours. Okay. Number eight, Faru. Uh, by the time you go to the hospital to visit your friend, a C will have went home. Mm, not quite. Look at this. Go. Look what we've done. Uh, gone. Very good. Very good, Faru. Number nine, um, Emilio. Yeah. By the time you arrive at the restaurant, your friends will have left. Perfect. Friends will have left. Good work. No, number 10, uh, Alvin, please. By the time you do the watching up, you will have most Grow. Not this time we don't use you. We're just talking about mold. Okay. So, oh, yo. No. 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 So remember our two events. So one event, washing up. Yeah. And then mold grows. That's another event. 
Can you do the washing up? So. I don't know, teacher. Uh, he can help Alvin. Chloe Kang, Chloe? Yes. Um, by the time you do the washing up, the mold will have grout. Yeah, we can just say mold. We don't have to say the this time. Sorry, English is weird. Mold mm -hmm. will have. Okay, so well. there's our will have. And then it's grown. A grown. Oh. Yeah. All right. So take a photo of those questions and answers. Uh, Miss Sterling, uh, number A will have gone home, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God for you, Chloe Lai. No, I just, um, I'm afraid that uh, someone took the picture and, and don't know why. And oh, then yeah. they reveal the picture and what happened? Why yeah. don't happen? Why? No, what's happening? I understand. Thank you. You're a very helpful student. Thank you so much for your teaching. <laughs> My bad teaching. No, it's. Good, because uh, some uh, sometimes you type, you you uh, you cannot like think and type and at Thank the same time. Yeah. Thank you for understanding, and that is that is true. I'm very tired. I've been working all day. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. So thank you for correcting that. Much appreciated. No. All worries. right. So everyone, make sure they get the um correct picture. Yeah. Got it? Got it, got it, good. Move on. This is going really well, guys. So now we're going to write. What are we going to do now, Mode? Write future perfect sentences based on the following information. Okay, what's our example? Example, next Tuesday at 5 p.m. I will leave work. Next Tuesday at 6 p.m. my brother's flight will arrive. What is the sentence? Sentence, by the time my brother's flight arrives, I will have left work. Perfect. So we don't need to write this. And we don't need to write this. All we are interested in is by the time the flight arrives, I will have left work. Okay, so remember if we go back up here, it's exactly the same. We did not say six or eight, we're just saying that this event will happen by the time this event happens. <coughs> Let's do number one, please. Dizzy. No, no. So, sorry, teacher. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I was new. <laughs> uh, next summer, Pavel will graduate. Next uh, autumn, Pavel will visit his relatives in Russia. Okay, mm. so how should we write this? By next, uh, uh, next uh, summer, Pavel will graduate. By next autumn, Pavel will have uh we'll have visited is uh, related with in russia mm, yeah you're getting there so forget this 
forget next summer and forget next autumn. Ah, okay, by the summer. No, no, forget the word summer. See what they've done here? So mm. they haven't even said five or six or Tuesday. So what comes first, summer or autumn? Summer. summer. In Australia, summer. Yeah. Okay, so what do we need to write first? By summer, Pavel will graduate. Pavel will... Oh my God, it's, it's, it's a little bit confused. That's okay. Keep working. Um, by summer, Pavel will graduate. Uh, Pavel will have visited his relatives in Russia. No, wrong. I don't know. This is a little bit hard. Sorry. Okay. All right. By the time. Ah, oh, I we have to put the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because that's remember, why I was yeah. it was hard. We have to yeah. put by the time. So forget the specifics. Forget the. Yeah, we uh, have to put by the time. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just talking about this event will happen before this event or by the time. By the time Pavel graduates. Okay. So I'm going to reverse it to I'm swapping the seasons to the northern hemisphere by the time Pavel graduates he will have visited his relatives oh. lives in Russia all right, so we can also write, wait, so that's Northern Hemisphere. He will. So Is in Australia, Russia? who's trying? I want to hear the person talking. Who is that, Mode? Emilio? Uh, Somebody? Sorry. <laughs> no, we also can say uh, he will visit his relative in Russia by the time Pavel grad he will he he graduate. Yes, he, that's exactly right. So we need to say Pavel will have visited his relatives in Russia by the time he graduate. By the time he graduates. Yeah. No, that's well, they're still both Northern Hemisphere. That's all right, we'll move on. Uh, all right, number two, please. Um, Chloe Lai. By the time uh, Amelia finished work, uh, sorry, finish shift work, uh, she will have taken her car pet to the vet. So if she finishes work at four, yeah, she go to the vet before or after work. She go to the vet after work. So by the time Amelia takes, uh, take, takes the cat to the vet. Yeah. Yeah. To the vet, she, she will have finished work. Good. Thank you.
Okay, number three, Faru. And number two, bed of time, jail, uh, will takes, uh, Jay takes his psychologist exam. Um, Other way around, Faru. So, did you? So, look at the times. Is one before or after six? <coughs> One p.m. is lunchtime. Six p.m. is dinner time. Yeah. Which comes first? Uh, one. Okay, so we need to say by the time Jay attends his. And a history lecture, comma, he will have he will. taken his, and this word for Ru is psychology. Okay, so can you read it again, Faru? Uh, by the time Jay attends a history lecture, he will have taken his psychology exam. Okay, so do you understand why I did it that way? I'm still confused, teacher. Still confused? Yep, no worries. So this bit here is our clue, by the time. This is our time marker. Yes. Okay, so if I say by the time I see my red class, I will already, okay, by the time I have seen Faru in the red class, I will have already taught Bayou in the orange class. So which comes first, red or orange class, Faru? Orange. Orange. So by the time I teach Faru in blue, okay, so I think that's happening now. By this time now, I will have already taught Bayou in the orange class. Mm -hmm. Right, let's we'll go back let's just finish this because this is i can see how it's confusing you guys we'll just finish and then we'll look back we'll go through it again all right number who can do number four emilio yeah so next week the john's family will buy a new car this weekend the john's family will sell their old car so the answer is uh, by the time the John's family buy a new car and they will have uh, sold their, their old car. Yeah, that's it. Because this weekend is closer than next weekend. So by the time the John's family, family buy a new car. Uh, we'll have bought. We still need to use our rule. <laughs> have bought a new car, comma. They will have. They will have sold their old car. Good. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay, there's that one. And number five, please. Um, who can do this one? Constantine. Okay. Uh, uh, um, by the time uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kim uh, uh, get uh, home, Uh, the workman uh, will have uh, installed their new windows. Installed. Installed, yes, installed uh, their new windows. Okay. All right, everyone take a photo. So let's go back up here. So these are our time markers by the time, when, and before. So what this means by the time is by this time, by 8 p.m., I will have eaten dinner. So, Faru, what time does Angel go to bed? Hey, teacher. What time does Angel go to bed? Um, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. 10 o'clock? Okay, so that's a bit late. Um, so what will... So will you... Have you had dinner, Faru? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, what will you do after class? Uh, eat dinner. So you have more dinner yeah, after class? I'm late. Dinner. Okay, so you have not had dinner. Yeah, um, I had dinner after school. So, okay, you will have dinner after class. So let's write that down. So Faru has the most beautiful little brother. If we're lucky, we'll see him. He was there before. Okay, so by the time... Angel goes to bed. So let's just put 10 p.m. in brackets. That's what time he goes to bed. Baru will have eaten her dinner. Okay, so Angel goes to bed at 10 p.m. So you have already eaten your dinner. You have eaten your dinner before Angel yeah. goes to bed. All right. Does that does that help a little bit, Faru? Yes. Yeah. So if we go down to here again. So with our example, the flight doesn't arrive until 6 p.m. 
but he finishes work at five, which means he will already have finished work all done before the flight comes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did your brain just go click? <laughs> yeah, just now. <laughs> Good. All right. Can you try number six then, Faru? It's all right. Just take it slow. It's no rush. So look at the dates. Um, by the time uh, Pablo will sell uh, 3,000 pounds. 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 This is pounds. Pounds. Pounds, yes. 3,000 pounds. And um, his his will and his will uh, goes to Qatar towards the World Cup. So remember, you went to. Angel goes to bed, but you eat dinner before he goes to bed. So Pablo saved £3,000 before he went to watch the World Cup. So we need to say, by the time Pablo went to the went to what to water the went sorry went to Qatar to, to watch will have saved i'm just going to write dollars three thousand dollars because the world cup is after he saved so the world cup is in november yeah. so the months go october november december all right, so this is the same. By the time, uh, by the time Angel has gone to bed, Faru will have eaten dinner. So you eat dinner before. Okay, so and that's what this means, Faru. By the time. All right, so you keep thinking, Faru. Um, Alvin, number seven. Oh, sorry, teacher. Uh, by the time. Diego and Sarah will get married. No. They, they, they will move in, or move in into a new house. No, by the time Diego and Sarah will move. The time not, Diego and Sarah will not marriage. 
move into new house. Yep, thank you, Amelia. And Diego and Sarah move into a new house. They will have They will have gotten married. Because they're getting married next week. They don't move into a house next month. So by the time when they move into the new house, they've already been married. Next week is closer to now than next month. All right, can you do the last one then, Emilio? Yep. So, by the time Yosef goes to bed, Okay. He will have finished his homework. Excellent. Thanks, Emilio. Sure, All right. Thank you. Take a photo, guys. So for the people who don't understand, I want you to read your pictures over and over and over and over again until you see the pattern. Okay, Farood's close. I think Alvin is still confused. So just keep reading and reading and reading. You'll get it. You'll have to, because you have to write this way. Okay. Um, what time is it? Let's have a really quick break, guys. Let's yes, give our, our brain a break.
Okay, we're back, everybody. Okay, I want you to have a go at this. Who can tell me what a milestone is? A milestone. It's the progress you made before. Yep. Close. Anyone else? Were you at the achievement you made? Yeah, achievement. Yeah. A goal, uh, okay. a target. Close. You're getting closer. The target. So a milestone. Um, Is it important the event? Yeah, that's it, Dizzy. An important event. Life event. So, what is a big life event? The uh, the day when we were born. Exactly. Our birthday. What's another one? Married. Yeah, married. And I'm also going to put divorce. Um, when we finish school. We graduate. Yeah, so we finish school or we graduate. So I'll put... University, etc. So that is graduate. Okay, and if you look over here, important birthdays can be a milestone. So I'll just put 50th birthday uh, in Australia we celebrate our 21st January. and our 18th birthday okay um, so what I want you to do is write you don't need to write a few we haven't got time write one paragraph about the goals and dreams you have for your life and you need to use the future perfect tense as much as possible so we have i will have studied i will be pretty fluent. I will have started. And then they've used time markers to signify these big life events. So another example Okay, I will have been working as a teacher for many years by the time I graduate university. 
Okay, so my degree is archaeology, not teaching. I'm already a teacher. Mm. I'm going to write as an archaeologist. Okay, so I've used present perfect and the time marker. So my dream is to be an archaeologist and I will have been working for many years before I do that. So I want you guys to have have a go. So this paragraph up here has one, two, three sentences. I'd like you to write at least four in the chat box. Okay. Does everybody understand? If you don't, it's okay. Say no and we'll keep thinking. You understand, Alvin? Yeah, I understand. Just want to make sentences, need to think. <laughs> my <laughs> go in my dream. This is yeah. a problem. <laughs> That's all right. Think about your milestones. So you turn 18, you came, all of you have moved to another country. That is a huge milestone in life. Yeah, I, I understand that. Uh, I try my best, teacher. I know you will do, always do your best, Alvin. Thank you, teacher. I try. And what about you, Faru? Do you understand? Uh, yes, I understand the truth. Good. Yeah, right. You can try to. Yes. Chloe, do you understand? Chloe Lowe, yep. Yeah. Yep. Kind, kind Chloe. Okay, Dizzy, see ya. Okay, teacher, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Constantine, do you understand? Uh, so, uh, how many examples? Um... Um, we need to write. Okay, so up here, we've got one, two, three sentences. Ah, okay. Okay, I want you to write four in a paragraph. So it all has to match. It all has to be the same thing, the same story. What about you, Mo? Do you understand? Uh, I understand, but still thinking about the milestone. Okay. What about you, Emilio? Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Good work. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, have a go. <laughs> Put it into chat box, four sentences.
Are you in Australia? Yeah, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. I just sent yours back mode and I've sent um, Khan Chloe's. I don't teach it. I don't understand. Oh, uh, I just changed some things. I wrote it out for oh. you. So you oh. can just compare what you wrote with what I changed and see where you need to improve.
uh, hi teacher yeah so the sentence you just uh, fixed for me so uh it mean if i want to use the um the future so the the future perfect tense i have to mention about the time i finish the training course first and then i'm gonna, I'm gonna mention about part the time in australia i've been here so i can use the uh the future perfect tense right yeah but you've already done you've already done been training as a chef is that right yes okay so you what you need to do then <clears throat> is the exercise that um we were having trouble with so you have to put i will have been in australia for eight months by the time by the time so you finish your hospitality course um first i guess and then you've been in australia for eight months all right i understand now thank you teacher Thank you. 
Yours is fine, Chloe Lai. I don't need to change anything. Yours is yours is actually really good, Constantine. You've understood the exercise the most out of everybody. But when you write a paragraph. You don't have a new line for each sentence. So, yeah, but that's really, really good, Constantine. And I just changed the last sentence because you, you say my 50th birthday or I turn 50. So my 50th or I am 50. That's how you use 50th. Uh, before my 50th? No, you can say by the time I turn 50 or by the time I celebrate my 50th. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. And then my business will have been big. That's just right the structure you just need to change being to something like grown so you're saying your business will be big before you turn 50 right Um, you, you can go Chloe Lai if you want to. And Khan Chloe, you can go as well. And Faru, I changed yours. You can go. Thank you, teacher. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. No worries. Yeah. See you Faru, Good, night, tomorrow. Good work. See right. ya. Yeah. Not mode. I haven't got. Have you sent me something, Mode? Pardon? Oh, you did. You, you're done too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I changed right. yours. You were there first. Thank you. Sorry, you can right. go as well. Right. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See ya. And Constantine, you can finish. Oh, yeah. yes. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh... Uh, goodbye. Okay, uh, goodbye. Thank yep. you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll just fix yours, Alvin. It's good though. Yes, teacher.
All right, there you go. By the time I get married, I will have worked hard and save money to buy a new house. In three years' time, I will have studied English to improve my skill. By the time I turn 40, I can fulfill my wish to have a good job. Why, teacher, you, you say everything is a very, I hear very good. <laughs> when I, I write down, it's a different, uh, totally. <laughs> That's okay. You're, you're learning, Alvin. That yeah. was, what you wrote was actually really good. You, you did understand the exercise. So yeah. congratulations. I can see that you um, were struggling during class, but you seem to understand more when you wrote that. Uh, it, did you know why I so slow? Because last time I just that I when I start studying in your class online, I just use the uh, uh, Google and I'm continue going uh, find the long way and. Uh, sometimes I I find a dictionary or or the meanings from Google search. After that, uh, I write down uh, fast, and I understand because now I try to think and write a uh, thing. What is the word in my mind, and I know what is that. I write down. Yeah. And I continue use the word you teach me. To, to, to do the sentences. Yeah. So sometimes I stuck, you know, I can't. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's understandable because otherwise you will finish the course and you will forget if you just copy and paste. Yes, yes. You yes. forget. You won't, you, like you said, you're trying to get it in your brain forever. Yes, I can. Yes, now I put yeah. in the brain, then I more understand. After that, I, not easy to for, for, forget it, you know. Exactly. I can, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I, I need more time. So, like this. So, mm -hmm. what you are doing, Alvin, you are applying mm -hmm. your knowledge. Okay. So, do you remember I said I want to be an archaeologist? Yes, you just tell, you just write down before. So I can go to university and read lots and lots and lots of books and write and write and write. Yeah. But until I actually do it, then, okay. you know, I can't really say that I have learned. I understand. Yeah, you need yeah. to do it. You need them. That's what you're doing. So congratulations. Yeah, because you need to do something or you want to do engineering, you need to read and, and a lot of software thing or something or mechanic, everything that you want to do yourself. You just do, you can't just talk and you want to read and take more knowledge in your brain and you can think, you just, yes, you can, you can, you can go, right? You can, exactly. yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome, you Alvin. See you good much. See you tomorrow. Have a good see night. Tomorrow. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Alvin. Thank you. See you, everyone. Bye. Yeah.